Hey everybody, Kimo here, and today we are talking horses. Specifically, we're going to turn this toy horse into a unique and beautiful piece of art. <laughs> and Kubo, <laughs> hi puppy. Kubo wanted to say hi. Hi puppies. <laughs> We've decoupaged a couple of horses before that were larger. They were American Girl toy horses and were almost like a foot and a half tall, so pretty large. The first one that we decoupaged was for our friend Sonia. She runs the Wild Heart Sanctuary in Park City, Utah, which is a nonprofit that saved eight wild mustangs from slaughter and now they live in the sanctuary as their forever home. We use something called Joss paper. Joss paper you can find a lot in Asian stores. I think it signifies good luck. Um, but from an aesthetic standpoint, it's a beautiful paper, usually colorful with really great intricate patterns on it. And we sliced those patterns very carefully and placed them on the horse in such a way to make this beautiful pattern that followed all the sinewy lines and curves of the actual toy horse. The second horse that we decoupage was for our friend Elisa, and this was a really fun one. But since Elisa loves all things Hawaii, we decided to use a tropical tissue paper and use that to decoupage a mosaic pattern and then overlay that pattern with petals that we had cut out from the same tissue paper. The technique that we're gonna to use today for this particular horse is a little bit different. We're going to use napkins. The napkin that we're gonna use is this particular two-ply napkin. It looks sort of Scandinavian and springy and is just beautiful. The decoupage technique itself is pretty easy, but there are some tools that make the process a lot easier. This is a 3D surface, which makes decoupaging a little bit harder, but we have an answer for that. The answer is cling wrap. And the cling wrap helps to avoid direct contact with your finger and the wet surface, because sometimes the paper has a tendency to sort of rub off if you continually are applying direct contact. And of course, there's also decoupage glue, but really we like to go as cheap as possible on this one, so we just buy dollar store white glue. You just have to add a little bit of water to that glue, and it works just as well as Mod Podge. So this is a two-ply napkin, meaning that there are two very thin layers that make up a napkin. The first thing that you want to do is to simply pull apart the layers and from there we're going to gently tear out the sections that we want. So we're going to tear out the flowers, tear out the leaves, tear out the different patterns that we want to preserve as whole pieces so that when we add them onto the horse we have control over where we want those design elements to land. And I'm hoping that the final result is something completely magical.